I just realized. What? Does PM have daylight savings? That's a really good question. I hope so. Or I hope at least that he knows from looking at Twitter. <laughs> Assuming PM keeps time by looking at his phone like a normal person. So he probably knows. No, but the question is, is does Canada have daylight savings? Yes. It, okay. Yeah. Okay. Canada do have daylight savings. It's stupid. Get rid of daylight savings. Stupid. Get rid of daylight savings. It's stupid. It's no it's fucking not sense. It, who is it for? You see, you save, you get, you get an extra hour of sunlight. Uh, except you don't. Exactly. It makes it's worthless. It's worthless other than to confuse everybody. Oh. What oh. is that? Pat, Pat. Sorry for the delay. I was in the bathroom. Oh. Ow. Oh, of course. A stoy poopin? Um uh, trying to. Stoy poopin? No, I would I legitimately I I had I've had a turd stuck in my butthole for the last like fucking fifteen minutes trying to push it out. Without having a fucking heart attack. That's why I'm late to the podcast. I was oh. having difficulty pooping. So, you were late this time because you couldn't shit yourself. Mm-hmm. Basically. You get some X-Lox. I do not have that. Something to help you shit. Eat some Taco Bell. That'll help you shit. Let me tell you, we had Taco Bell yesterday. Mm -hmm. Haven't stopped shitting since. Been having issues shitting all week. The second I popped that taco smell into my goddamn body. Fountain. Ah, uh, thank you for reminding me that I still kind of want to throw up from yesterday of when you burped in my mouth. <laughs> Glad I'm not there anymore. <laughs> Just burped directly into my mouth hole like a fucking psychopath. I didn't mean to. He just what turned you... around. Excuse me? I fucking burped. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, taste. so it wasn't intentional. It was very much an accident. You didn't intend I to I didn't intentionally, in like, go into many space and go like... <clears throat> you still burped directly into my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> fucking funny. Oh, I'm glad it happened oh, on fuck. stream. That was great. Just... Oh, that happened on stream? Disgusting. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway. My butthole hurts. <laughs> like, I, like actually, I, th I, I think it's been stretched out. I think I'm loose now. Um, do you need to put it back in? You, did no, you, it, no, did it's you not prolapse? falling out. No, no, I did not prolapse. I'm not just yet. saying it's a little extra open right now, and I don't like it. All right, have I you... feel like I, I feel like I have a new, uh, new hole that I'm breathing out of. Now, hear me out. Have you? Ever prolapsed? New hole that I'm breathing out. Of. Have I ever prolapsed? Not to my knowledge. Maybe a little bit when I had the fingernail stuck up there. Ugh. Ugh. Because I needed to actually like go in and start digging to pull it out. But other than that, I don't believe so. No. Anyway, start the podcast. Hate Sorry. That. What podcast? Are we doing a podcast? I don't know. Are we? Hello, everyone! Welcome to Deep Ship's podcast, the legitimate boating podcast. I don't know what the that? fuck happened. There. What the fuck was that? Like, were you trying to go for like a Cockney British thing? What are you doing? I as always am your host, Captain Calamity Crawl. Joining me as always, my wonderful co-host, Rear Admiral PM. Howdy, Ensign Jordan. Hello, thank you for watching. Hello, thank you for watching. Hello, thank you for watching. Grab it and Maritime Medi. Whoa. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> are you are you all okay? Like it's a reference to a thing. Oh, okay. You haven't watched Smiling Friends, have you, PM? No. It's really good. You should. At some point. Okay. 
How's everyone's weeks going? I had a busy week, kind of. Uh, did you? Oh uh, yeah. Went and saw. Uh, I went and saw Tool in concert. Oh. Oh. oh shit, okay. Of all things, all right. I, my dad wanted to go to a, to a Tool concert, and I thought I'll go with. <laughs> it was like a like, Tool. Oh, it, I'll go see Tool. <laughs> of all the bands, that's so random. My my dad likes Tool. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, your dad's taste in fucking music is Tool and Corn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, and not bad, that's not a bad taste in music. Yeah, I guess. And, Al- and Allison Chains. And Allison Chains, yeah. Mm, corn. Mm, corn. Corn. That's the kind you can eat. Um, it was fun. I'm not really much of a Tool fan, but it was fun. Was that your busy uh, week? Because you went to see Tool in concert. Uh, it felt really busy because it felt like I didn't really have a day off. <laughs> because I, I, I worked Monday night. I left Tuesday morning to go to Michigan to go see Tool, and then when I came back Wednesday morning, I had work that night. And then I don't. And then I, all oh right, I did play the new Strangers in Paradise demo. Yeah, the the game that you uh. Went from I'm not I'm uh, this is a no buy for me now and then immediately flopped over to actually no this is great I'm buying it day one. When you realize you're playing a game wrong, it can make you, your opinion on it really flip. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, how I, are, like, I'm so curious. How were you playing it wrong? So you know how in Dark Souls dodging takes stamina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it did in Strangers of Paradise, ah. which it does not. Interesting. I was basically playing it with the mentality of a Souls game, which you do not want to do with that game. I see, I see. Um, so is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Because, like, aside from work Dude, and that... Just a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work and seeing Tool. Yeah, and seeing Tool. Now, how would you rate your tool experience? How do you uh, rate tools? I, the you gotta rate everything on this podcast. Uh, seven out of ten. All right, that's respectable. Respectable. I, I both got a, I, I got a headache in the middle of it, which didn't help my experience. <sighs> that's but, fair. Uh, what no weed uh, smells this time? Or I'm sorry, smelling the lights. No. Oh, okay. the fucking light. There was there was just a guy. Since it's legal in Michigan, there was just a guy flat out smoking like two feet next to us. Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, fucking get toked, baby! That's what they say, right? Get uh, toked. Just like the toke no, man. No. <laughs> no, stop, stop. No, you actually got to stop. I will <laughs> throttle you. Pam, how was your week? My week was uh, rather uneventful. For, so, for the entirety of this week, I've I just been thinking a lot about the Batman Calzone from, from Little Caesars to the <laughs> point where it is Sunday came, or Saturday came, and I'm like, I'm going to make more bad life decisions, and I got another one. Munch, munch, mini munch. So, I got I got another one. Uh, is this that- one, much better than, than the last one that I had. You know why? Because it arrived warm. The dude actually had, like, a fucking food carrying bag. So it arrived at my house warm. Let's go. Um, I also got wings, and they, Little Caesars has surprisingly good wings. Shit, I mean, if I could get Little Caesars delivered, I'd try their wings. But we'd have to drive all the way out to Queens to get them. They're, they're surprisingly seasoned, and uh, the, there's a little bit of kick to them. They're a little spicy. Uh, Ooh, I enjoyed nice. them. I enjoyed them immensely. I got the honey garlic ones. They're, they were pretty good. Um... I'm gonna stop getting the crazy bread. I'm gonna. I'm saying stop as if I'm gonna go back there again. I probably am, to be honest. As long as this stays on their menu, I think I'm gonna continue going back to fucking Little Caesars. Now I think they made a fan out of me. Um, <laughs> I give it a seven. Actually, no, no, fuck it. I give it an eight. Wow. I give it an eight. It, wow. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Uh, I I've enjoyed it immensely. Now, now that the food was actually delivered proper. In its warm state or its hot state. Um, 
let's see what else video games i haven't really been doing it like i i, I haven't touched uh Arceus in a while i still have area four unlocked still need to dip my toes into there um, <laughs> still haven't beat Arceus. nope oh it's gonna take me forever to fucking beat that game Fuck. i think that's it yeah i th- i think the the highlight of my week was the fucking batman uh, calzone <laughs> i uh i forgot something oh yeah my power went out yesterday Oh right, yeah. How was your How was your fucking wordle with mittens or or cheese, whichever one it was? Mittens. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Um. About two minutes into it, my power came back when we started doing that. Fuck. Um. The I word was around. Was penis, by the way. Yes, the word was penis. Um. Around seven twenty last night. Uh, for the first time in what feels like eight years at this house, the pl- the power flat out turns off. It doesn't surge, doesn't like flicker back on. It's just off. Mm-hmm. And I look on the website for the city utilities, and it's an outage that is maybe a mile wide. Wow. Um. So I decide, fuck it, I'm just gonna drive around, try and see like how far out it goes. And it went far, and I went to. I Didn't went you on... say that your neighborhood was just in the radius of the outage? My street was. Oh, your street. Wow. Um, I'll take a. I'll show you the screenshot later. But um, like so, I I exited my neighborhood because the other half of my neighborhood had power, mm-hmm. which pissed me off. And I turned out on the road, and like there's just this massive barricade of police and utility workers near one of the electrical poles, which I assume, oh, they're out there to, like, block it off so that they can just fix it really quick, because this is affecting, like, two and a half thousand people. My dad then texts me a picture from, a screenshot from the, from the, um, Facebook of the, of my town, Mm -hmm. and they say, um, a car has crashed into a electrical pole and caused a massive outage. We are working on recovering power. Yeah, sounds about right. So was it just an accident or was some fucking dipshit drunk driver? Uh, I haven't heard any updates on it yet. Mm. I'm just hoping they're all right. Oh well, I hope they're not. And uh, wait, <laughs> which doubly sucked today because I had to, because the power was out for so long. I decided to take my work clothes over to my mom's to get them washed for today, mm-hmm. which meant I had to wake up early. And the daylight savings happened, so I got even less sleep. Yep. Yes, we've sprung forward. Can't believe this. I think we Thank should you. just destroy daylight savings. Um. Okay, we collectively as a whole cannot do that. It needs to be done in sections. And um, the way it would happen is, like, I believe every coast needs to unanimously agree to be like, yeah, all right, get rid of it. Like, for example, Ontario, uh, New York, and Quebec would all have to agree to get rid of daylight savings time, which is not a problem between Ontario and New York, by the sounds of it, but uh, Quebec is the problem. Who cares about surprise, Quebec? Surprise, surprise. Every, uh, every time I hear about Quebec, I hate it more. Wipe them off the fucking face yeah, of the planet. Quebec is awful. Fucking I'm like, is, been like, wanting... is, Qu- is Quebec like the Detroit of... Canada. Okay, it's not that it's Detroit. It, it isn't. It. I, I wouldn't classify it as the Detroit. It's just everybody looks at it and everybody unanimously hates it. Like at I, least ev- everybody not in Quebec. Like I hear, like Pat describe his interactions with the locals and how P- they treat Paige when she speaks English. Well, yeah, because uh, Pat's fucking uh, Anglophone. Uh, so because he he is a native English speaker, he just also happens to speak French. But his his uh, girlfriend, who only speaks English, and maybe like some phrases in French, yeah. Uh, the fucking Quebec nationalists are like, no, get the fuck out of here, Ingi. That that sounded more fucked up. Than, yeah, uh, really, Jesus. Than, but but you get my sentiment. Uh huh. Yeah, they do not like English speakers there. Who the fuck are they to feel fucking superior to anyone? They're fucking French. Yeah, Canadi- they're, they're Canadian French. French. Yeah, French Canadians. Fucking shut 
up, you like, little like fucking you, losers. Like you can tell Christ. they des- you can tell they desperately want to be a they don't want to be a part of Canada. They want to be a colony of France. Yeah, yeah exactly. E- every time France does some shit. Quebec goes, oh, oh, yeah, we're, 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 we're totally yeah, doing that cool shit. Look how cool we are. Look how big our dicks are. They're basically the equivalent of the guys who have really loud cars. Every yeah. fucking, like, five, six years, they're, they're all up in arms like, oh, we're going to separate them. And, and the entirety of Canada's like, good, go, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, fine. But for some reason, the government wants them around, so they're still here for some reason. Oh, fuck. Uh, whatever. Letty, how was your week? Uh, you know, been alright. That's great. Yeah, nothing to report, boss. Haven't found a job yet, you fucking freeloader. <laughs> I'm trying, man. We went to the stop shop, and he's like, I should have went up to customer service and went, hey, uh, y'all gotta fucking answer me back. <laughs> y'all gonna fucking call me? <laughs> hey. I don't blame you. I'd be the same fucking thing. Like, hey, the fuck? Oh, did I, I talk probably... about uh? Did I talk about the 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 games that we got uh from my landlady last time? I don't remember. Uh, I don't believe so. I don't fully remember. I went down to her to talk to her about some stuff, and uh, I was like, oh, by the way, before I left, do you think it would be fine if I just went down to your basement real quick, grabbed a couple of the the games that you have down there? She's like, oh yeah, no problem. So I went down, grabbed a big fucking like one of those old uh drawers for nintendo 64 games that they made mm-hmm. and uh quite the fucking haul in God that damn. bitch yeah buddy quite the fucking haul of just classic Ma- Ma- fucking Mabber games. chief yeah there was there was also that master chief helmet which had a collector's edition of halo on it the wow. xbox 360 a glover do you own a 360 <laughs> no i mean technically yes it's just broken so we got uh, Mario 64, got uh, OG Smash, Paper Mario, Mario Party 1 and 2, Dr. Mario 64, Pokemon Snap, uh, some other games that I don't care about, and Wave Race 64, of course. And the one on the bottom there, Rocket, Robot on Wheels. That's um, made by the devs of Sly. Yep. That is a $90 to $120 video game. God damn. Also, of course, Cartridge the, the looks almost uh, almost perfect. Also, AMF Bowling Pin Busters. Mario Party 8 Unopened Super Paper Mario We Play. It's still an open. I still haven't opened this copy of Mario Party 8. I now own uh, four Mario Party games. After owning none. After owning basically none, except for uh, Superstars. It's wild. A good haul. I was like, holy shit. And they're all in really good condition. The last Fantastic game we pulled off. out of the fucking box, which you can kind of see there under Master Chief, was fucking Glover. No way! <laughs> and I was like, you gotta be fu-. There was a copy of Glover in this house all this time, and I didn't fucking know. Very funny. Honestly, one of the funniest things to happen. Like, ever. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look at my notes here. Um... I, I don't I don't like the CVS by us anymore. Oh um, yeah. Angry with them. What happened? They never seem to have what? anything in stock. I had ordered some stuff from them and uh got half of those items. Some of them substitutions. Anytime I go in there myself, it's just like shelves are completely empty. No one's bothering to stock anything. No one really gives a shit. And I'm like, I get it, yeah, I super get it. But also, me hungry, me want chip. Maybe what they're on thing? the verge of closing. Like, I mean, if they're on the verge of closing, that would suck, because that's my fucking pharmacy. But there was also, I had to go get the fucking medicine from them. From uh, my, 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 my little uh, incident. Balls. Last time. And uh, I walked in, and they said it would be uh, ready by the time I got there. And I walked up to the pharmacy. He's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, so-and-so. I'm here for this and that. They're like, okay. It'll be ready in about like five, ten minutes. I'm like, okay. So I start walking around the store, waiting to hear them call me over the, the the loud speakers or whatever. Everyone who's ever told you, oh, yeah, it won't take that long, five, ten minutes, has been full of shit every fucking time. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I've, I've walked around the store for about half an hour, and I walked over like, hi, I'm just wondering if it's ready yet. And they're like, oh, no, we haven't started on it. What? 
How long does it take to grab a bottle of pills from a shelf, throw it in a bag, and give it to me? So well, I no, you see, they gotta weigh it. She's like, for all right, well, whatever reason, you gotta talk to the customer service on the side there, which she was sending everyone to, every single person. She said, and don't talk to me, talk to the guy over there. So I went over to there and talked to him. Within seconds, he's ringing me up with what I needed, and I'm out of the store. I'm like, thanks. That wasn't so hard, was it? It's all I needed. I could have just been in and out. Nope. All, all you need is one person who's willing to do their actual fucking job. Pretty much, yeah. That's a rarity, though. Uh, fucking... We've had housework going on here. Our landlady's getting uh, a lot of her stuff downstairs re renovated. So, we're trying to record she... mill mic, and we just hear... <laughs> and loud is hammering. She... Very is, she putting, is she putting a support pillar back in? I hope so. I mean, it's, it's necessary that's... work for the house, which is good. I'm glad it's getting done. It's just scary when we're walking around and all of a sudden we hear a saw at our feet. And it's like, that better not come through the floor. That's going to be terrifying. Yeah, that, that was what was being like, oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. She came up here one day with, uh, I think it was Tuesday, with uh, the guy to, to measure out the windows because she's getting all of them replaced <laughs> in the house. I was there. No, they came back again. Oh, okay. And she saw the arcade cabinet. She was like, oh my god. We're like, yeah. <laughs> That's what we got, baby. She was like, I'm coming up here to party. You guys got all the alcohol up here? You got an arcade cabinet? I'm like, shit, you're welcome to. It's fun. I also just hate having to park on the street and people just taking the spots and not parking right and everything. It's just fucking, I'm tired of it. I hate them. <sighs> If you couldn't tell, I'm trying to stretch things. I don't have a. I didn't have a very eventful week. It sounds like none it's, of us it's, did. It's okay. Uh, Which you're is good. not. Al you're allowed to not. You know, be busy. Which is a great you're thing. Have a normal considering week. how busy it's been the last couple fucking months. Oh, yeah, imagine thing... being upset that nothing is going wrong. Except for Thursday night, when I was sweeping uh -oh. out a uh, a room, and who else would pop their head in? No, <laughs> but that old white guy from the week before who was like, "Hey, can you open the food room for me?" And I was like, "Why are you here? You're back I again." It was a return. I thought it was a return of the sleeping teacher. No, 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 no. Carl likes the sleeping teacher. He's all right. He's all right until he spills coffee all over his fucking floor, and then I'm like, "What are you doing, man?" And he's just like, "Listen, I'm so tired. I'm gonna have to bleep his name." But because he listens to dipships and he, he doesn't does. want to get called out. No, I don't want people to find out where I'm fucking working based on different pieces of information. Granted, it's just our first name, but you know. So, I let this cooking teacher into this room that I didn't know he was going to be using. Again. And as I'm going by, first, I didn't get in there at all. I was just about to start cleaning that room, and he came into the other room that I was in and finishing up. I didn't have the chance to clean it. Who else should be in there for the cooking lessons than the superintendent of the fucking district. Oh. Oh, wow. Who gives me a big smile and a little wave. And she's like, how's it going? It's been so long since I saw you last. How's everything? I'm like, oh, great. Why are you in here? I didn't clean this room yet. You don't need to see this. <laughs> this room is... It was the filthiest it had been the entire week, too. I'm like, oh, this is the worst night for you to be here. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Also, some kid threw out his wallet in the garbage one day. He came over like, my friend put my wallet in my paper bag. I threw it out and I, I need to get it. <laughs> I was like, well, that sucks to suck, doesn't it, stupid? I'm not jumping in the dumpsters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think That's they literally, what you dumb kids are for. I think they literally brought him to the dumpsters, handed him the gloves, and just went, have fun. <laughs> just told him to jump in. Yeah. What a poor kid. I felt bad. I was like, I, listen, I'm like fucking... 400 something pounds I can't be jumping into dumpsters I'll knock the whole goddamn thing over I'm a grown ass man honestly I should have I should have tried to do it so I could go out on comp I mean yeah <sighs> probably no because they'll fire you for going out on comp yeah, yeah I mean yeah true. not anyone else just you <sighs> yeah <sighs> wow that was like quick we're, we're, we're on brisk pace today. Like the iced tea? Sure. 
You ever had yeah, brisk iced tea? I don't like iced tea. I have. It's it's okay. It's pretty alright. I prefer Lipton. I like Arizona. Arizona's also good. I think I had Arnold Parma before. Yeah. No. It's not it's not the best. But I have the Arizona. <clears throat> Are we just reviewing iced teas now? You guys are talking about iced tea? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> All right. Been there before. I reviewed a <laughs> fucking truck once. That's or true. A bus. Yeah. That was fucking funny. It was dumb. This so. is a review podcast. Down, bus review reviews things. coming back this in true. force. <laughs> it is. It's a review podcast. We review things and talk about boats. Very important we include that last part. We legally have to. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jordan. Hmm? With with the introduction of this uh, newest uh, boating podcast, what what was it fucking called? Ship- oh, uh, ship hits the fan. Yeah, ship hits the fan. Um, I think I think you need to step up your boat fat game, because because th- this whole boating podcast, like, is like solely falls onto your shoulders. This is a boating podcast because of you. So I think you uh, I think you need to step your game up. If we're if we're gonna hold our number four spot on the uh, boating charts, I mean shit is true. All right. If we, no do pressure. You guys, hey, do you guys want to talk about some boating news? Uh, sure. Boating news, because there is boating news. All right, lay it on me. The lost ice ship, the Endurance, has been found under seas. Oh, okay. Cool. It was a ship that was trapped. Between some ice and the people aboard the Endurance had to uh, leave the ship and basically try to survive in the wilderness. Didn't go very well. No, I didn't. I don't imagine so. Uh, the ship was found in basically pristine condition. They're like, it. nothing happened to this. It's been down there for a fucking good couple of years. Wow. It is like untouched, basically. It's fucking wild. Like we can't, we can't even go aboard and check anything because it's on a fucking historical site. But like everything aboard is like, because oh. the water's so cold that any sort of things that would, any sort of sea life that would eat away at the wood, mm-hmm. isn't there to do that. So it's just well, sort I mean, of there's, there's algae. things fucking latched onto it. Like what's that fucking white thing right above the? the oh, there's the like boat. barnacles and algae and stuff, but there's nothing that's like actively eating away at the wood. Yeah, nothing that'll rot the wood away too much. Mm-hmm. The wood, the wood can petrify pretty much, which is all really the valuables fucking in there. cool. I imagine all the shit. We should go fucking steal the ship. Well, no, if fucking like uh, people whose actual jobs it is to like search for the shit can't go in there because of a, it's it's a historical site, and and you know I'm not a criminal, so I'm not about to break the law. This thing's been down there for a hundred and seven years before Jesus. being found. Still Fuck. somehow younger than me. Yeah, it's true. What are you hitting the? Are you pushing two hundred yet? I'm getting there. Getting there. And like one hundred seventy. In uh, about uh, about a month. How a about some wrestling? Yeah, sure. It's time for wrestling news. Oh yeah, we we all sat together and watched the fucking AEW pay per view. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, like, we did. After we watched. We watched. We- we watched the back half of Revolution together. I watched all of it in like the background of the recording we were doing. But once we were done recording, we hopped in the hyperbeam and just watched it together. Yeah, it was fine. It was it was the most fine a, a, as a fucking uh, wrestling at normal speed could be. It was certainly wrestling. I can't Wrestling believe at Sting. Normal speed. I can't believe Sting jumped through four tables. I yeah. can't believe Sting jumped through any tables at all. And I'm from like a good ancient. height too. Yeah, he was. Yeah, cons- considering he's a million years old. Man, what sixty two? Something like that. And he jumped like a good uh, what? What was it? Like maybe fifteen feet through that four about- fucking tables. Uh huh. Good lord. Jeff Hardy also debuted at at um Rampage this week. Jeff, please stay clean. I don't I don't <laughs> want another news story within like a, a six months from now going AEW has let go of Jeff Hardy because he's on the no, sauce again. 
He w- he was clean when WWE let him go. Yeah, I know, but it, it feels like like every two years or so, he's on he, the fucking bend again. I I hope he's able to just stay off. And uh, well wishes to Biggie. Oh uh, yeah, Biggie broke his no. Biggie broke his fucking neck. Yeah. Oh, Biggie. What broke happened? Was that was that like uh, televised or was it? A yeah, house it, hap- show? It, it happened on SmackDown. Oh God, what Ooh. happened? Um, I think he was what? doing a, a a some sort of press in a tag match with Kofi, mm. and accidentally landed on concrete. Hey, yeah, that'll do it. Well, uh, speedy recovery <laughs> to Biggie. He was in. He seemed to be in good spirits, at least. Yeah, I did see. The, I did see the the video that he posted from his fucking hospital bed with the fucking brace on his neck. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> Well, he's had a rough year. Well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that about Biggie. I saw him tweet about that. It was very upsetting. Hey, do you guys want to hear what's new in Cookie Run Kingdom? Hell yeah. Not really, but go ahead anyway. Cookie Run Kingdom news. Ginger Brave and his friends arrive at the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Okay. A brand new update, the Heroes of Dark Cacao. Released for Cookie Run Kingdom. Introducing Mother- two new cookies. Isn't this the shit that's in our chocolate bars? Yes, yes. which is very funny. Just a hundred percent was like, oh wow, that's perfect timing. There's dark cacao cookies. He's voiced by Patrick Seitz. Yeah, the voice of Frankie from One Piece is voicing this cookie. Yeah. I mean, anything for a paycheck, right? And of course, I already have his son, Afogato Cookie, which of course they had to. Introduced Wife. by saying, sorry, Afogato introduced our newest epic bomber cookie. Fuck you. You knew what you were oh, doing. Oh, a bomber cookie I want. I mean, Crazy. Yeah. Look at them. She's cute as hell. I guess, yep. Imagine wanting a bomber cookie. Apparently me now. I don't know what any of that means. What well, you see, they have different cookie? they have different attacks. Some of them are strikers, some of them are bombers, some of them are magic. I said strikers, I mean charger. You know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> I actually don't, but go off, King. Hey, listen. Cookie Run Kingdom's good. You should try it. No, I have enough gotchas that I play. You should try it just because it probably will give you more free shit than any other gotcha you're currently playing will. No, it really un- does. Untrue, None. I play fucking Guardian Tales, and that that is the most generous fucking gotcha game that's ever existed. I mean... If I open Cookie Run Kingdom right now, I'll probably get 3,000 gems, like, immediately. You should play Guardian Tales. Guardian Tales' story alone is worth playing. It's And it's not even done. It's just off-the-wall fucking crazy bullshit, and it's fucking fantastic. I'm enthralled with a gotcha game story. Oh, this <laughs> fucking title screen looks nice, though. It's fucking wild. playing it right now. N- n- y- no. No. I definitely didn't just open it, and then Pokemon Masters X was like, "Hey, c- open me instead." And I went, "Fuck you! <laughs> you don't give me shit." I literally turned it on during fucking anniversary events to get fucking a free ten pull and get disappointed when I got fucking nothing. <laughs> like I did that for the uh, for the latest anniversary. What was it? No, it was fu- for fucking Pokemon Day. Um, and, yeah, they uh, gave you that- a free pull and let you choose for free one uh, five star, which is wild. No, that's if you fuck it, and and it's a selection of fucking jobbers that you don't fucking want either. Like, are you I, smoking I, crack? I was, I would. They don't let you choose at, like every single one. They let me have a good amount of choices. I could choose fucking Leon with the uh, Eternatus, which is what I picked. Leon. I did not get that. Are you using paid gems? Is that what you're fucking doing? N- mm, I actually that might have been a paid gem one. That might have been one yeah, where I went. That that sounds like some paid gems. That might have been one where I went. You know what? I'm gonna drop just this once. Because I want to choose one of them because I want to power them up to be less garbage. Yeah, you get that shit for actually putting money into it. If you're fucking free to play a piece of shit like I am, then yeah, you're not getting fucking bubkiss. They got for credit cards, am I right? Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. Thank you all for listening to another wonderful episode of Dipships. Uh, I'm just here to do the, the the normal housekeeping stuff. Tell you about a couple things. 
but you know the the usual sort of stuff we got going on so let's get right in there remember you can follow us over on dip ships pod on twitter and you can follow each of us individually at the calamity carl at gfppm at expayline and at metor man follow me for, for updates on the podcast because i bitch about it a lot there I have any questions have any topics anything you want us to answer talk about whatever send them god uh send them to dipshipspod at yahoo.com sorry i almost threw up again dipshipspod at yahoo.com we'll take your stuff answer it talk about it whatever you could also respond to the tweet that's put out usually every sunday and then yeah do that if you would like to support us directly you can go over to patreon.com slash dipshipspod enjoy us is it dipship spot am i still it is okay I thought, I, I thought i was losing my marbles for a second support us over there for a bunch of little tiers you can watch the exclusive pm versus anime series there uh you can watch some other things i put up uh the you laugh you lose thing that me jordan and pm put, did together as a patreon exclusive uh you don't need to be anything above a dollar in order to watch that pm versus anime however i believe you need to be at least five dollars Ten dollars is where uh, I read your name on the podcast, which is right here, where I think our ten dollar and above patrons, such as Alatos Diogenes, Andres Rojas, Breakdown Seven Hundred Seven, Diablo, Dorgon Twenty Three, Doctor Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper One Thirteen, Frost Samurai, Iris Placeholder, Mop, Mister I Like Spam, Mister King Jacob Nine Thousand and Two, Nicholas Prodes, Normalized Pagu Champ and Sinister, it's Korak, Ocelot. Shibuya Gato, The Crossing Fate, Tonya H, and Zombie Slayer 051. Sorry, I blanked out. Plus, our $20 patrons, Bai and Jude, and our $50 patron, Generic Jackal, says the vampire squid is into shit, like into eating shit. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you for that knowledge. And speaking of things I'd like to give thanks for. I'd like to give thanks to Vidazen at underscore V-I-D-A-Z-E-N on Twitter for our wonderful theme song, Starbird, and our additional songs, Appetite Delight, Ride of the Wave, and Seaside, which are wonderful. Appetite Delight is what played us into this. Ride of the Wave is what we use for Party Boat, our series on YouTube where we play games. Seaside is the one that goes into dip chips. Thank you, wonderful person. Please go support them. And other people you should support are Shibuya Gato and Shora Art, which is Shora underscore art on Twitter. For our art, as you can see, Shibuya did the logo, Shura did the the art, and thank you both. Please, thank you. Don't forget, we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and this video version on YouTube. I don't know what other video versions would exist. I will destroy them with my bare hands. Now, you might think I mean my naked human hands. No, I mean my huge, muscly bare arms that I keep on my wall. I will crush their skulls. Other than that, um, I think that's just about everything. Uh, the next episode we're doing is a questions only episode. So make sure you send in all those questions you've got. We're going to put out tweets the rest of this week into, into that moment to just knock out a whole bunch of questions. Just fucking murder all those questions, baby. Destroy some of that backlog. We got a lot of questions and we need more to make sure we've got the perfect show for you or something. I don't know, dude. I'm going to go sleep more. Have a, have a, have a, have a good rest of the episode. Hello. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends re-watch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, ba and me, Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out, too, at patreon.com slash millenniummike. 
If, if, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works, too. See you there! I started building a new deck in Master Duel. Oh, what kind? Uh, Wind Witch. Ah, uh, yes, the, 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 this is what you were asking me for before. Yeah, Wind Witch is uh, cool. Uh, I, I I really hope you like wind monsters, because that's all you're going to be summoning for the rest of the turn. I think that's the only kind of monster in the deck, so... Aside from, like, Nibiru. Yeah, but you're not playing Nibiru on your turn anyway, so... Yeah. Be fine. The, the only problem is that the deck I built requires uh, a lot of staples I don't have the points for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm slowly chipping away at uh, at trying to get the staples because my super heavy samurai deck needs uh, three ghost ogre and three fucking uh, ghost rabbit. Or no. Uh, Ash and uh, ghost ogre. Oh. So I, I, I think I have like one of each. Uh, still need a hell of a lot of fucking uh, UR points. I had a really funny duel this week where I was playing I was playing my Lyrilux Tri Brigade deck. I set down. I summon. I special oh, summon a warbler. Deck. Your shitty deck. Yeah. I special summon a warbler, and my opponent instantly scooped. I mean, yeah, at that yeah. point, you're just fucked. Yeah, that happens with uh, with a lot of meta decks. As soon as they play a meta staple, they're like, "All right, cool. I'm not gonna have fun here." I just, think. Uh, just scoop. I think I have two Ash Blossom. I need to get the Ghost Ogres because I think I use the same uh, super heavy deck that you do, PM. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I sent that one to you. Yeah, I just don't have any any ghost ogres, which is like, mm -hmm. fuck. Uh, there's going to be a new event uh, coming out soon, similar to the Exceed event, where it's only normal and rare monsters. That's it. That's all you can have in your deck. That sucks. No, I'm sorry, not monsters, cards in general. Just normal slash rare cards. Oh, that's awful. Hey, good thing, you, my, you, good, you, thing, good thing I still have my burn deck. You know what? Yeah. If, if that includes fusion monsters without effects, there are a could, lot uh... of good fusions that are still just rare slash normal. Y'all want a tip? Play Tenyis and Kaijus. Oh, well, I was going to say... A, uh... a lot of them are normal slash rare. Oh, that's what you mean. I I, I'm, I thought you meant like actual just normal monsters. Not no, not normal monsters. Normal rarity. rarity, rarity. Okay, because I was going to say, if it's just normal monsters, if you could fusion summon a monster that has no effect... Then you can just run a fucking red eyes deck and just get out uh, red eyes or black meteor dragon, whichever one. So there's a lot of red eyes fusions that have no effects that are really fucking good. There, a red eyes fusion with no effects is only the one, the uh, a meteor black dragon. Meteor <laughs> black it. and uh, the art, uh, the one with summon skull. That one has an effect. That one doesn't have an effect. Yes, it does. No. There's only one red eyes fusion monster that is effectless. And that's the OG vanilla one from fucking back in the day, Dual Monsters era. Every other Red Ice Fusion that exists has an effect. Hold on. I gotta look this up now. Oh, wait. No, you're right. You're right. The, yeah, there totally yeah, is Black one. Skull, I'm sorry. Archfiend or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, Black Skull Archfiend. Sorry. I think it does bad. have a thing on it that just says it's treated as an Archfiend card, but that's not really an effect. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My bad. I, I was totally spacing out. Yeah, that totally one and uh, Meteor one. Black Dragon, which Meteor Black Dragon is just fucking better. Yeah, it's a, it's a 3500 beat stick. Yeah. But for that, you would have to play Meteor Dragon, and that's that's some, that's some poor shit. Well, that's why you run uh, Red Eyes Fusion, so that then you could just fucking take them from the deck. True. Gotta use your brain. But, nope, you can only play uh, normal, and, uh, rare normal and, and rare rarities. That's it. Mm. No SRs, no URs. Oof. But yeah, you want advice? Fucking play Tenyis slash um, uh, the well, what's it called? Kaijus. Because almost all all of the cards are fucking uh, rare slash normal. I, I'd rather do the Kaijus because they're funny. They're funny as hell. No, idiot! It's Turtle now. Herald of nothing. <laughs> so good. Hey, you guys want to do dip ships? Oh, no, not really. Not but really. Here we go. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dip Chips, a uh, podcast within a podcast where we eat a food and then we talk about and rate it and do something like that. Fellas, what are we doing this week? A mistake. Oh, this week, horrible. what we are doing... You see, uh, oh. Oh, Mehdi, you want to go? Go for it. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Like, jeez. Go go for it. Like, you you ask a question, then you don't let anyone else answer. Just go. Just go. This this smells terrible. (laughs) Today, we are eating Lindt 100% cocoa unsweetened chocolate, except for Jordan, who didn't get fucking Lindt chocolate. It wouldn't arrive in time. You you know what? It should have went to the store. so good, dude. That's what we did. We went food shopping today, and we actually found some in the store. Couldn't hear me tap my skull, but I did. The exposed part of my skull. What's this bet? All right, so we're making a bet out of this chocolate. Yes, we are. PM, do you have anything for if uh, you happen to be the one who gets the furthest into this chocolate? Um, I do have a punishment for y'all. Mm-hmm. It involves coffee. Oh? Y'all need to drink... At least half a cup of coffee with a uh, creamer of my choosing. So when you say a creamer of your choosing, an actual creamer or no, oh no, or like I'm gonna I'm, I'm make you put I'm gonna make you put something in that coffee, but it ain't gonna be cream. You are a monster. You're evil. You're vile. Maybe you probably still drink it. Listen, I've drank some fucked up shit in coffee. <laughs> Have you drank dirt in coffee? Coffee is dirt. All right, Jordan, what about... Well, I know you're not going to, Jordan, but what about you if you happen to potentially? I don't have anything in mine yet. Yo, why does yours have, like, fucking veins in it? Yeah, what happened to yours? What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, it's it's ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> That's just how that coffee comes. Or coffee. That's just that how chocolate. that chocolate comes. Yo, comes? So we're not timing ourselves. We're just seeing who can actually fucking finish the thing. Not, not quite finished. Just who gets the furthest with it. Okay. I have a, uh, I have some for for you two and Medi. I mean, which Medi I think is just stealing those if Medi beats us. Pretty much. Also. Pre- pretty much. <laughs> well, wow, this is a lot thinner than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's it's incredibly thin. It's just uh, getting through the entire thing. Because this is, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 squares of dark chocolate. I'm not recording the screens. No, you're not. I'm not asking you to record them. I'm just proving that I'm eating the whole chocolate bar. That's fair. Alrighty. Um, I don't have a webcam, so... Alright. Oh, Medi started already. I was gonna oh, say we're just going? Three, we're we just going? Go. Alright. Uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. Coco, dude. Are, are we allowed to drink? I'll say yes. Okay, cool. Nah. Nah, I give up. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> I knew That's it. not exactly what I expected to happen. <laughs> Probably me too, honestly. Oh, <clears throat> uh, shit. That's just fucking nasty. Alright, I'm three squares down. Oh, uh, Carl is clearly a race between PM and Medi. What do you mean a race? I took a bite out of... Oh, God. It's not a race. That just means PM doesn't get punished if he eats the whole thing. That means you two get punished. Yeah. Oh, by both of you two. Fuck. Oh, wow. That was only like two and barely a half squares that I shoved into my mouth. Wow. Fuck. That's funny. I... I talked to Cat about this yesterday. It's nasty. I was talking to my dear friend, White Woman Cat, yesterday Mm -hmm. about this bet. You should not do that. And I'm like, why? Because it's Cat. Oh, no, she's fine. Um, And I'm like, the only person I'm worried about is Mehdi. Because I know he, he, he has like an adult palate. <laughs> fucking Alan, <laughs> uh, fucking uh, Carl and Jordan. On the other hand, I'm gonna fucking wipe the floor with their asses. <laughs> I'm halfway done. <laughs> Medi has an adult palate. That's scary. Medi's like, I've tasted wines more disgusting than this. Mm-hmm. As my job. S- same. 
I'm not oh. gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be way harder. It was a lot more bitter than I thought it was gonna be. It's easy for you two. I took a bite and had to spit it out. I just. But it was a larger bite than Jordan, who just nibbled the corner. Like I swallowed. I, I swallowed. Well, me and Medi are coffee drinkers, oh. so we're used to bitterness, and I like black coffee. Yeah, I don't so. like. I don't like coffee. I don't like bitter that much. I don't like bitter. I like. I don't like bitter flavors at all. Oh, it's a shame your punishment for me is going to be coffee related. Well, I hate, I hate you. I hate you. Oh, I'm a, I'm a poison. See, mine was just so making much... Jordan straighten his hair. Oh. Okay. Fuck you, you were right. Thank you. Carl just gave me the rest of his. More dog chocolate for Medi. Oh, PM, I'm going to poison the shit out of you for uh -huh. your birthday. Yep. <laughs> Last six squares. Wow. Pokemon binder. Ugh. Yeah, hundred percent cocoa, not for me. I'm gonna go give this chocolate bar to my dad to see if he wants it. <laughs> Don't poison your dad. Or do if he likes it. Be like, mmm, chocolate. I'm glad I took a picture the of the chocolate little. Bar. I'm glad I took a picture of the um, of the little warning that comes on the label where it's like we recommend starting off with. 70, and then moving up to 85, and then finally 90. Is a warning? Yeah. On the <laughs> golden I went flip. to my dad, and he was like, no, you trying to kill me? And re proceeded to remind me that he has diabetes. <laughs> I mean, it's unsweetened. Oh, yeah, there is a warning. There's a warning. There is a zero grams of sugar. Well, at least in ours. Yeah, I don't know about yeah, yours. It is zero grams wow. of sugar. It's pure dark there chocolate. There's zero grains of sugar in it. He's gonna slap you. He's gonna walk in to smack you like I said no. Okay. I'm done. To fully appreciate the intense cocoa experience, we recommend that you progressively develop your palate through our range of high cocoa content chocolate bars, starting with excellent 70%, then 85%, you know, and finally 90%. If I was some kind of an asshole, mm -hmm. I could claim that eating Carl's chocolate bar too makes me the winner. I mean, I have more chocolate in the house, but it's not fucking 100% cocoa. Uh. <laughs> I could out-chocolate right. you. <laughs> you. All right, what are, all right. Well, what are me and Carl doing? I wasn't expecting two people to, to... I wasn't expecting PM to be like, yeah, man, I'll down this dark chocolate too. This is a nightmare scenario. As me, Carl, me and you are fucked. <laughs> me and you are fucked. This is a nightmare scenario. No, guys... Guys, calm down, all right? It's not that bad. All you need to do is drink at least half a, uh, half a cup. I don't drink coffee. Okay, You're well, going to make fine. me drink a cup of coffee with fucking pickle juice in it. Well, fuck. Why'd you got to fucking spoil yourself, Jordan? Like, what are you doing? I what are you doing? You I knew it. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's Jordan's Damn, that, punishment. That will He's... make them throw up. Oh. I know. I know. No, no, Carl, don't worry about it, bud. That's not what you're doing. You oh. got to do yours with ketchup. Ketchup with yeah, ketchup. ketchup. Mm -hmm. Why? Why ketchup? Because why not? Ugh. I would rather you have said maple syrup. Well, no, that's maple, sweet. Ma hey. Maple syrup would have been tasty in coffee. Uh, you're Look, right. Uh, ketchup is sweet. All right, so don't worry about it. I drank a cup of maple syrup once. Oh, all right, Medi. What, Medi? What are you doing it was for, for me? It was, for, it was for a bet. Hmm. Hmm. I won. I felt like shit after. Excuse me. I mean, do you want to take mine for Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the one that you uh, came up with for Jordan. From All right, the Jordan, you got to straighten your hair for a week. For a week? <laughs> yep. I don't know how to do it. Well, you have a sister, right? That's she doesn't live help. with me. Well, you're going to have to find a way to get her to straighten your hair every day. It's okay. Just you have a hairdresser? Yeah, just use your tip money and go to the hairdresser every day. Not oh. every day. Wow. How often do every you have to go day, to get it straightened? I yeah. imagine every day because my hair is naturally curly. Well, yeah, Jordan, you got to use your uh, tip money to get a straightening iron. Try not to burn your hair. Shh, you why'd go. you say that? He's going to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matty, what's mine? Oh, for you... 
That's a toughie, you see. My mouth feels weird. <laughs> Pam's like, oh, I feel the cocaine now. No, it's just like chalky. Yeah, that's how it be. I think that's what got me. It's just this chalky and it's just bitter and it's just dark and it's evil. I don't know. What should we do for Carl? Hmm. You stay out of this, Mr. Hmm. You already gave me one. Fucking ketchup and I, coffee. I, I... I mean, you know, I could I could steer Medi in, in a direction should he so choose. Ugh. All right, what, what's your suggestion, PM? I will consider it. I actually don't have anything. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sitting here going hmm and thinking about it. Ah, uh, well, you could double up on the coffee and and be like, all right, all right, Carl, you're gonna make a burger coffee. You're gonna put mustard in your coffee also. Oh, make a weird coffee for him. Yeah, I could do that. I could do mm -hmm. that. Um, do I have to come up with it right now on camera? Probably, could yeah. Edit it. Could edit it in later. Have record what you want and then have Carl edit it in. Yeah, you, in post. You, you have another hour to, to think about it before the podcast ends, so. Are we doing a two-hour podcast? No, no, I know uh, what it is. Uh, what is it? Uh, when I make stuffed peppers. There's okay. going to be a special one for you. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. And you're going to eat it. All right. My good friend. I'm going to... All right, if you're going to do that, then I have a request. What's the request? The request is that you record the process of you making it and what you put in it, and then we make a video out of me eating it after that. Combine the footage together. Oh, sure. Yeah, no problem. No, it's easy. Easy peasy. And we'll, and we'll put that up first for patrons. That's how you do it, Good baby. Good idea. That's, that's patreon.com slash dipships. Slash? Slash? <laughs> I, I slur, okay? I, I just had a whole bar of chocolate. I'm, I'm uh, chocolate drunk. Yo, you're drunk? Chocolate drunk. He's got cocaine in his blood a little <laughs> bit. It's fine. <laughs> I'm a little lightheaded, not gonna lie. Well, fellas, this fucking sucked. Well, fellas, this was pretty great, not gonna lie. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna well, be way Jordan, worse. Jordan, this fucking sucked. <laughs> I want to die. It's all right. Next week for Dip Chips, we're going to be eating Peep cereal. I fucking... That sure. is 100% not available in Canada. I think I'm going to have to Amazon that. Yep. I'll send you money for it. Okay, cool. Don't you worry. Or I can just buy it and send it to your house. That also works. Can you get it here in a week? Uh, we'll find out. We'll find... Uh, I may throw up. <laughs> I may throw up. I feel it. I feel it. There, there's a storm brewing. Uh, glad I didn't storm swallow. Storm is coming. Uh, hmm. We also gotta do that KFC plant chicken at some point. Ah, uh, yes. Should be oh. terrified of that one. You know what? We we'll do, do that, that after, after the cereal. Yeah, yeah. there you go the same fucking boat speaking of boats we've got a lot of passengers on this boat who have a lot of questions i bet we do a lot of questions you can send We're us dipchips to... pod at yahoo.com or respond to the tweets put out almost every sunday was today one of those sundays yes actually oh okay good i didn't see it Did we get any good questions this week let's see i don't think we got many from uh the yahoo itself because i did Oh, this one's just uh, someone suggesting fried rice. They like said, fried rice. Do fried rice. The only rule is it needs to have rice, eggs, and soy sauce in it, and put whatever else you want in, which is not a terrible suggestion. Thank you, Nana. Uh, there's like 9,000 questions from Tonya, but most of them are ones we already answered. So, uh, eat shit, tiny lesbian. How short is she? She's like fucking Pretty short. feet tall. She's like small. I think she's shorter than Dylan, which is funny because Dylan's like almost four foot and ten or something. Holy shit. Let's see. Uh, Ultra Fan Dan returns again to ask us favorite video game in the Wave Race franchise and also Hydro Thunder or Wave Race? Uh, mm. Wave Race and uh, Wave Race 64. Uh, wave Race and Wave Race Blue Storm. Yeah, oh. 64 and Blue Storm. I've got, I gotta go with PM. Wave Race into Wave Race 64. 
Oh, I've never also, even six, heard six, of... 64 is the only one that I've ever played. I've never heard of fucking Hydro Thunder. That's wild. Yeah, I haven't heard of Hydro Thunder either. That's scary as hell. Wait, Ray 64 is just fucking good. Yeah. I like the secret announcer. The one who's just like, uh... Listen, kid. Wins are like diamonds. Rare. <laughs> Uh, Caliban asks, uh, which of the four of you is most likely to wear jorts unironically? PM. What? No. <laughs> uh, For... I unfortunately agree. You're Do... the oldest one here, and the only person I know who wears jorts is old. That is fu- oh, Okay, first off, uh, I don't wear shorts, period. Like, period. Uh, I have very ugly legs. Uh, like fucking spider veins. Is that and, why and, you don't and, like seeing uh, people's legs? It makes you feel self conscious about your own. No, I just don't like the look of shorts in general. Also, I I don't want to see your fucking blinding white knees and shins. Thank you very much. It's like a flashbang to the eyes whenever a motherfucker pulls out his shins. Um. Also, I don't like jeans. I don't like the material. I've never ever liked jeans. I've always always liked sweatpants. Um, the only time I'll openly wear shorts is, uh, when I put on a fucking bathing suit. And that's it. I also hate jeans, but I have to wear them for work. Makes me upset. Jeans are my favorite pants to wear. You must be wearing nice pants. Well, I mean, you're, you're not fat, so it would make sense. I'm a skinny boy. When you're I, a larger I, I, person and you have to wear jeans, it's like, man, I can't wait for these to rip the second I bend down for something. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. gonna say Jordan. I can see Jordan rocking some jorts. They both start see the, with J. See True. the thing about see the thing about jorts is that with jeans you want that feeling all down your leg, mm. but like having it cut off early just would feel terrible. Yeah, it makes it weird. I don't think I would want that feeling at all. But that's a me thing. Also. It's not all down your leg. You're, unless you're like free balling it, it's not all down your leg. You're mostly feeling underwear. Yeah, it's gonna stop at like, around the knee. Either. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking in terms of boxers. If you wear boxers instead oh, of tight right, whiteies. Yes, yes, yeah. But no, uh, jorts. I believe jorts usually stop after the knee. If you know, it's this, before the knee, it's weird. There's a there's a question from me. Uh, do you guys wear boxers or tidy whiteies? Boxers. Generally boxers, sometimes tidy whities Depends on what's I clean. I don't like tidy whities because they're uh, that. It's not that they're too tight. It's just that they're tight enough to they're pick up white. noticeable stains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jordan? Like I've had bad experiences with boxers, so I've just always bought like the tight ones. Tight. Boxer briefs. Uh, like is that combo? what like the one is that the ones that are just like boxers but like elastic and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I use boxer briefs. That's fair. That's understandable. How about you, Carl? I wear boxers. Mm. Gotta have a little bit of looseness. A little bit of loose. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, like whenever I wore tidy whities there was always like moisture. J just built up moisture for some reason. Is is that is what swamp ass is? Yes, yeah, that's what swamp uh, okay. ass is. All right. That only started after I gained uh, all my weight. Uh, Rosenthorn asks, uh, what is the most unintentionally funny movie you've ever seen? Uh, Drag Me to Hell. It, w it was billed as a horror movie. One of the funniest horror movies I've ever seen in my life. Fucking ridiculous. I would say teeth for the same reason. Vagina Dentata! <laughs> I think about that scene all the time. It's so fucking funny. It's like, um, man, are you sure you're a doctor? Because you're just screaming out this lady's medical problem, like, in the middle of this hospital. <laughs> fucking rude. Unintentionally funny. I think I'm gonna go with Fast and Furious 6. Okay. Understandable. Because the other fast movies, I can get some legitimate enjoy enjoyment out of, but six is probably my least favorite. Yeah, because those are billed as like action movies. Yeah. Oh, but six, six is my least favorite in like a 
filmmaking sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's still hilarious. What about you, Medi? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> the most unintentionally funny movie you've ever seen. I don't know, I used to laugh at, like, Saw and shit. Because I was like, what the f- that's so stupid. <laughs> Just take it off. Just take the bear trap off your head, idiot. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. It's not like chained onto your shoulders. Just rotate your head slightly to the left and lift it off your shoulder. Well, I assume it's like clamped on to to avoid uh, being. They really oh. don't show that. It just kind of looks loosely on them because you know you're not well, going to make your also, actors. Also, I get believe off. the bear trap thing. Uh, there's something with it where it's like attached inside your mouth, so that when that that's how the Ooh. fucking trap works, where it uh uh the thing opens up and it fucking like destroys your mouth. Gross. Ugh. Tonya asks, uh, favorite guilty pleasure movie? I don't feel guilty when I'm pleasured. Gross, thank you. <laughs> way to say that in, like, the creepiest so way possible. <laughs> I love that. Like, I that understand the statement. Delivery. And and it's a fine statement. It's just the way you delivered it was <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was inten- it was intentionally like that. <laughs> okay, that was all right. Awesome. As, as long as that was intentional. Um, anyway, real an- anyway, real answer is the Blue Sky movie robots. So yeah, mine would be the Super Mario Bros. movie. Love it. I call them the Super Mario Brothers. Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. Uh, M Night Shyamalan signs. He used to be my favorite horror movie of all time, and then I rewatched it once uh, uh, during a Halloween stream a, a couple of years ago, and I went, "Oh, this is awful! Oh, <laughs> my adult brain fucking internalized how bad it was." But I'm like, "Ah, it's uh, I still like it." That's that's the Mark Wahlberg one, right? Uh, no, that's the. Oh God, what's his name? Happening. That's the happening. Yeah, that's the happening. Uh, signs is. Tom Cruise. Uh, no, uh, Carl, help me out here. Uh, fucking, uh, Bruce Passion Willis? of the Christ. Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yes, Mel Gibson. What a yeah. Freak. Medi, what about yours? Funny. I'm not gonna lie. Once again, my brain just completely forgot the question when you asked me. Favorite guilty pleasure movie? Guilty pleasure movie? Ah. Uh... Well, as Jordan said, I don't really feel guilty about pleasure, but, um, I don't... There's no, like, bad movie that I like, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, I love terrible movies. Like The Room, Mystery but... Men. <laughs> Mystery Men's a movie. good movie. Mystery yeah, Men, exactly. yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna say, yeah, fuck it, let's go with The Room. Whatever. That's there fair. Go. Uh, Frost Samurai asks, uh, what was the first video game you remember playing, and what was the first one you remember beating? First video game. This is going to be a very awful question for one person here to answer. Mm-hmm. Because it'll hurt uh, the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Jordan, right? <laughs> First video game I remember playing? Probably either Pong or fucking... <gasps> yeah, you know what? It was Pong because I remember... I remember my fucking... Um, one of my uncles... <laughs> played Pong with me when I was, like, fucking seven months old, and he somehow <laughs> lost. And he was trying. And me, fucking seven-month-old fucking PM, somehow beat, like, a fucking 40-year-old in Pong. I think that's the wildest thing you've ever said. And you've said a lot of wild shit. To be fair, I think it was drunk. Yeah. I uh, First game I remember beating, probably Mega Man 1. That's fair. Uh, my first video game uh, that I remember playing was uh, Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. The combo for the NES. I have it here uh, on my yeah. shelf. Mm-hmm. Uh, excellent video games. And the first I remember beating off the top of my head would be Mario Sunshine. Wait, seriously? I had first never game you beat? beat? I never beat a lot of games. I just play them wow. and then stop touching them, which I still do to this day. Yeah, just look at your Steam library. Yeah. 
So many games I've never tried. Maybe Star Fox 64. I mean, I that's everybody that one. Steam library, though, isn't it? Yeah. True. I definitely know that I beat Star Fox 64. Oh, what am I saying? Donkey Kong Country. I beat the shit out of that. How can I forget? How can I forget Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario World? Those are those are those are the two I remember beating. So my first real game I can remember playing was probably Super Mario Bros. Deluxe on my stepdad's at the time uh, Game Boy Color from his attic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not and the bad. first game I remember beating is I think. Wind Waker? That's also not bad. That's fine. That's acceptable. That's... I was expecting you to say something on like the fucking 360. I was with like the 360 or PS3 or 4 and I was going to start mean, hyperventilating. Wind, Wind Waker and 360 are the same era. Pretty much. Are they? Yeah. No. The 360 released three years after Wind Waker. <laughs> Mitty, what was yours? Hold on, hold first, on. I need to verify that. I need to verify that. <laughs> first game I ever beat? Yeah. First game you ever beat and the first one, uh, first one you remember playing and first one you remember beating. Uh, well, first game I remember playing uh, and the first game I remember beating are the same game, Super Mario Brothers, on the NES. Acceptable. Uh, Dante asks, uh, what's the best video game with a boat in it? Wind Waker. I might also say Wind Waker. Now, is this Wind Waker is an opinion? acceptable answer here. Now, is this meant to be, like, an objective opinion, or, like... Yeah. This is, this is okay. Um, if not, then I'm gonna say it is. I would say either that or Sea of Thieves, because that's just fucking fun. Okay, best game with a you boat You only like in Sea of it? Thieves when you're not playing it. I like it when I'm not getting murdered for having a gay pride flag as my fucking ship's flag. That's what I said. Because mm -hmm. you're always getting murdered for Best having a gay game pride flag. With a boat in it, fucking uh, Pokemon Black and White. I mean, it's got a boat in it, it and you can go on it. it. Yeah. You're right. I'm surprised you didn't say platinum. Then you love platinum. Please don't. I'd rather say fucking Pokemon uh, Red and Blue. Before fucking platinum. What's wrong with platinum? Everything. Nothing's wrong with platinum. Every, every fucking thing. What about you, Jordan? You said Wind Waker. Excellent. I said Wind Thank Waker. You. You're welcome. Betty, did you say one? Yes. Uh, Alright, well, if you can't pick Wind Waker, Assassin's Creed... Uh, what, Brotherhood? Four. Was the first one with the boat? Although Black Flag is still really good. Black Flag was the first one, I think. No. Uh, Revelations and 3 both had boat, but they weren't the focus like there was in Black Flag. Uh, uh, Korak92 asks about uh, Punishment Arc of Dip Chips with Digimon Adventure 1 style torture food, like eggs with mustard and jelly beans, or eggs with maple syrup and cherries, or peanut butter. We'll do that. Like that. That's a, yeah, when that's we reach a certain point of the, uh, the Patreon. A it's a Patreon, Patreon goal. goal. Stop asking. Stop asking. It's a Patreon goal. It's we told there. you this four times. Is that too mean? Am I being mean here? No, you're not being mean. It's uh, we need to remind people what the actual goal uh amount is. How about that? Let me go to dip ships. I think it's like, uh, what is that ships. one? Did we put that at a thousand? No, I don't think it was that high. Let's see. Uh, or was it at seven hundred? All right. So at four hundred, we have the chicken nugget shot. Fuck me. At, at 500 we actually uh, might have reached that one already because our dear friend patchwork is putting 200 into the fucking patreon every month i see anyway Whoa. um at 500 we have pilk uh 750 we have uh pm versus one piece and at yes it's at a thousand where we do the egg bit <sighs> yeah and 5000 is we get a boat yes 5000 we get a boat we get a real ass boat We'll have things in between 1,000 and 5,000 as they appear. Of we'll just, we'll have to start reaching that point, you know? Exactly, yeah. We need, and we at 5,000, to... that's when we can lease a boat, like. Mm -hmm. uh, that fire... is when it becomes real. Fire Trooper asks, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster? Oh, 
favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster? Oh. I'm going to go classic with this. I like OG fucking purple ass dark magician. And none of this alternate artwork shit where sometimes he's like light blue or uh, he's got green skin. No, fucking OG ass dual master or uh, dual monsters purple fucking uh, dark magician. How about y'all? Well, um, I can okay. I can probably guess what Medi's is. What's mine? Man eater bug. Hell yeah. Yeah. How about you, Jordan? Oh my god, how am I forgetting its name? Blackwing monster with green hair. Oh, uh, the rain. Ooh, I'm opening a master door right now to find it. Uh, Carl, what's yours? Well, um, I had to pull out my actual real life Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I now have. So I could say, uh, Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Juggernaut, Lieb. Lieb is good. Lieb means life. I'm realizing now that, uh, Super Dora is a numbered monster. It's number 81, but the mm -hmm. other two Super Dreadnought, Real Cannons are not numbered monsters. Which is weird. Gale the Whirlwind. That's ah, who yes. it was. Gale the Whirlwind. I love Gale. It's a funky little fella. Do you guys know that fucking access code talker is very expensive to buy as a card? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you guys anything know that, that you can anything you can just throw into a deck is yeah. probably really expensive. Did you know that Lightning Storm still costs over a hundred fucking dollars to buy for one card? Yep. I uh -huh. fucking hate that so much. Well, that's that's card games. Welcome to generic meta support. I fucking hate it. Quigzies asks, "What's your ideal breakfast?" Stick and egg. I don't eat breakfast. You can't go wrong with a nice bacon, egg, and cheese in a roll. Pancakes and sausage. I thought you said uh, hand cakes. Yeah, I also heard hand cakes. I did not say hand cake. Hand cake. <laughs> uh, black coffee for me. That's it. That's normally all I can stomach in the morning. How about you, Betty? I mean... Steak and egg. I usually just have coffee, but steak and egg. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Got some easy questions. Uh, Korak asks, if you ever had kids, what would their names be? And would you let them watch your content? Definitely no uh, to the second one. Definitely no, and no, no to the second one. Um, now, as, as someone who's hyper against having children, mm -hmm. um, I do have names for these eventual children. Mm -hmm. uh, if I were to have a girl, I would call her Evie which is short for evidence. And if I were to have a boy, I, his name would be Contra, short for contraband. <laughs> but you're not a criminal. Very important. I am not, not, a, a, I am not a criminal. <laughs> it is very important to point out that I am not a criminal. Not a criminal. <laughs> what about you, Jordan? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Uh, if you ever had kids, what would their names be and would you let them watch your content? He's, he's kind of a little young to be thinking about uh, kid names. Yeah. You're like 15. You shouldn't be answering this. Jacob. And no, he would not watch my content. Jacob? Jacob. 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 I thought you meant Jacob like Steakums. I was like, that's a terrible name. For like... Jacob and Jacob. I, I, I want to keep the like initials of my family going for another generation. That's fair. My bloodline ends with me. Because my, me and my dad had the same initials. What's up, Carl? You you don't want a Carl Jr. Jr.? No. So you can be uh, Carl Jr. Sr.? No. You, yo, do you Shit, that's like pretty funny, kid, though. Kid possible. You, you, you senior, can... Senior, senior, senior. You can have Carl the third. Would that make me... Would I be automatically become a senior? Yes, yes because yes. you would be the senior to, to the junior. You'd be uh, Carl Jr. Sr. That would make me the second... I'd be Carl yeah. the second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have Carl the third. We could become an illustrious Lupin band of thieves. thieves. Mm -hmm. And then you could and then you could become a dynasty. <laughs> and and then like once you now. and and then once you have a grandson I'm named Carl, you can be kids you, now, he says. What, you can be Carl Senior Senior. Uh simply Xana asks one piece being mentioned many times in the naval rankings you all hold, uh, what mm -hmm. character would you give one another from the show, both Marine and Pirate? I have not read One Piece. Carl, go ahead. And then they said, PM's bad luck, he'd be Gaimon. Who was the man who was stuck inside of a treasure chest. 
Oh, that fucking dude with the afro? <laughs> yes, I know. I Yes, I watched enough One Piece to get to him. God damn it. it. You know what? You're not even wrong. That's a sad thing is that you're not even totally wrong. Uh, For Carl, I was... No, never mind. No, go ahead and say it, PM, my good friend. No, you wouldn't no. insult me and hurt me in any way. I was going to say Wapple. I mean, I do like that devil fruit power. It is very funny. Let's see. For Jordan. You fucking piece of shit. For Jordan, uh, uh, Buggy the Clown. Okay. That's fair. And for Medi, probably Frankie. Thank you. He, I he like Big Funny put, Robot Man. He, he knows how to put shit together. Also, he's a robot. <sighs> Thank you. Make I mean, yeah, happen. that makes sense. Honestly, I'd probably give uh, Brooke to Medi. I also like Nyo Ho Ho. Yo Ho Ho? That's pretty good. Uh, PM, I think it would be a good Gecko Moria. I don't know who that is. You That's should go and Google him. Uh, Gecko. M O R I A. I hate him. No! I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. I've I, I've I've seen pictures of this dude in the past. Okay, the, I, I'm getting like two fucking versions of him. One where he looks like a fucking uh like a Christmas ornament, and another one where he just looks like a cool demon. Yeah, there's one where he fucks, and then there's the other one where he's yeah, there's like the one before her. his entire crew got wiped out by Kaido, and then there's the one where his crew got wiped out, and he became a fat sack of shit with depression, which is what you currently are. You see, your bro your back was broken, and now uh -huh. you are the final version. Like, he's a cool demon dude at one point, and then he just morphs into an egg with fucking, like, a, a, a giant stitch down his fucking face. I believe uh, they call him a, a leak bastard at some points. Egg. Also, also, his power is to inflate? He just gets big. No, his power is uh, shadows. Oh, uh, okay. That, that is zombies, him. zombies, uh, kind of? And, yeah, he, like, makes zombies by putting shadows into the dead bodies. Okay. But also, he, like, he can suck up all the shadows and make himself really big. Mm-hmm. Make, also makes him very strong. Inflate himself big and round. Um, I, I kind of agree with Jordan being buggy. I kind of really love that. Just like stumbling Isn't, into good do, fortune. Doesn't buggy become cool at one point? Buggy becomes a fucking warlord. Oh. Buggy was on the Pirate King's ship as a member. Wow. Uh, oh, I, ju I just called uh, Jordan buggy because they both have long feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I quit the podcast. <laughs> Me. Pretty bad. I it's thought it was just because Buggy's kind of funny. He's a funny little guy. Very splits funny. his body. He punches guys. I'm looking at fucking gifs of uh Gecko Moria, and I just see a one gif of fucking Nami breaking his neck. He, she's just got fucking hands all around his fucking neck and just pulling it back. Nami Jesus or Robin. Jesus Christ. Uh uh Robin, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I remember that scene, it was fucking cool. Matt, you've read enough One Piece. What would you think? Uh, Jordan is uh, the cannibal. Which one is that? You know, the cannibal. The cannibal who follows Luffy-sama. Oh, Bartholomeo. Yeah, that, that yeah. also tracks. Jordan's Bartholomeo. I like him. He's Ooh. funny. PM, PM's kind of Jinbei, isn't he? I could see it, yeah. Which one? Alternatively, is... Jordan is uh, Mononosuke. What does that mean? I Jordan like being Mononosuke kind of... I can see it. Oh, I hate him. What's up with his head? Which, which one? Which character? Mononosuke. <laughs> He's, He's a little samurai little kid. He's a little dude. Oh, I've, I've seen little, Jinbei. Little lad. Yeah, Jinbei's cool. Isn't, Jin, isn't Jinbei the newest straw hat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm the fish boy. Uh, it's it's funny. Me and him almost have the identical hairstyle at the moment. I like him. I respect the drip. He's a big fucking sumo fish. Yeah, Jimmy's fucking cool. Now for you, Coral. Listen, people. We need to get we need to get to the fucking One Piece goal. I need to get PM hyped on One Piece. You know, I refuse to answer, Carl. Why is that, my good friend? Because no matter what, it's kind of offensive to you. Would you would you refer to me as Blackbeard? No, That's... Blackbeard's too cool. Damn, got him. I feel the anger directed at the camera. 
too cool. No, go ahead. Tell me. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> Hit me with someone. Ah, uh, I don't know, honestly. Mm? I know you too well to uh, give you a One Piece character that is you. Let's go with the safe bed and just say Wapple. Wapple? <laughs> can't even, like, I fucking can't even give a cool character. All right, fine. All right, fine. All right, fine. You get to be buggy. Yeah, finally, I, finally, I can detach my penis and keep it in a drawer. <laughs> finally. Right? You get to be buggy. If only because then that makes me the cool guy with the straw hat. <laughs> Whose name I can never remember off the top of my head because he was in one chapter at the start. Shanks? Yeah. The cool guy. Do you know how much Shanks shows up in the fucking manga? Yeah, he's... Yeah, that's way later. I mean, fair, I mean, but yeah, he's sir. still important in the world. He's still a, like, big fucking deal. Yeah, but that's way later. Shanks is arguably one of the fucking coolest pirates out there. He is the coolest pirate. He's fucking dope. That's why I'm him, idiot. What about you, Jordan? What would you say for all of us? Um, I think mm -hmm. Carl would be Ichigo. Yeah. PM uh -huh. would be Ego. Um, Negan from The Walking Dead. All right. And Medi would be a glass of orange juice from one shot of Mega Man NT Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the right character, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic answer. <laughs> good answer. What a good answer. Oh my god. Oh, oh George, Bravo. this is your redeeming Bravo. moment. I want. I want to give you a high five, but you're not here anymore. Oh shit. Oh. You want to do a couple more questions, or uh... yeah, sure, sure. Let's let's go for it. Uh, Adam Hamilton asks, which YouTuber or streamer would you most likely get into a bar fight with? Uh, which YouTubers and streamers have I gotten into bar fights with? Yeah, same question. Uh, I'm gonna say Dark Side Phil, because I want ownership of that fucking name. He gives Phil's everywhere a bad fucking name. Fair, yeah. I feel like if not JonTron, then PBG. Because we did almost get into an altercation over air hockey. Jordan's answer is probably the spoony one. <laughs> there can only be I, one. No, no, I want a power bomb pro Jared through a table. <laughs> oh, <okay>. I mean, <laughs> me too. Yeah, you know what? Let's all fucking dog power pro Jared. Fuck that bird nosed freak. Because he, he is still streaming on Twitch. Fucking disgusting. Well, yeah. That's fucking funny. Because he survived us liberal cucks canceling him. Hatred. Final Haunt asks, uh, any weird kitchen gadgets or ap appliances? I almost said applicances. Fucking stupid idiot me. Or appliances you found to be especially useful? Um, I own, an air fr I own a convection oven. I had a slap chop, and the slap chop was surprisingly, like, useful and, and good to use, uh, right up until the blade stopped being sharp, which was, uh, after about two months. A magic bullet. bullet. Slap my nuts. Slap my nuts. We do have a magic bullet here, so probably, honestly, magic bullet. Yeah. Surprisingly useful. Tonya asked three questions in one, as you can imagine. Like she I does, yes. She does. Uh, Tonya asks, how do you motivate yourselves? What are your love languages? What's a shit that still haunts you to this day? Imagine having motivation. What is... There's language. so many on that third one. Yeah. So I let's, mean, start, I'm, let's start with the first. Let's start off with right. how do you motivate yourselves? If if I had an answer to that question, I would uh, I would have been streaming every day for the last like fucking three years. The way I motivate myself is by going, I gotta do it eventually. Might as well do it now. Um, coffee. Let's just say coffee. Jordan, how do you motivate yourself? <laughs> same answer as Carl. Uh, it, it's got to be done. Eventually, we'll do it. I'm assuming that he's got the same answer as PM. A lot of coffee. Yeah. L listen, uh, we 
you and me discussed right before when we were at the grocery store today, uh, how I used to cut Death Wish coffee with espresso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, part two, what are your love languages? What does that mean? I've never been in a relationship. I don't think that's what that means, Jordan. Not sure. I'm not sure. What do you mean? I'm going to message her right now and ask, what does she mean by this? We'll see if we get a response to this So, one. uh, our, uh, our love language describes how we receive love from others. They are yeah. words of affection, saying like supportive how things. You flirt, what you find to be flirting with you. Well, uh, I, I always assume people are flirting with me when they're just being friendly because my brain is broken and I'm a disgusting human being who thinks that mm -hmm. because someone's nice to me that they are flirting with me and are interested in me in some way. Uh, From just years of yearning for someone to treat me like a be human being with uh, love and respect. Okay, I can think of one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, wh whoever I'm with, I need to be able uh, to share laughter with them. I need to make them laugh and they need to make me laugh. Yeah, that's a good answer. I can agree with that. I think we should all just steal PM's answer. Because if you can't laugh, laugh with somebody, how are you going to, like, be a, be in a meaningful relationship with them. All right. Uh, remember that both of you liking video games is not a meaningful thing to build a relationship upon. Yeah. True. I I know that both of you like Mega Man Battle Network. That's cool. I also like it. That that doesn't mean that you should get married. Alrighty. The third part. What's the shit that still haunts you to this day? What's a shit? Uh, uh, the one that I took like f uh, an hour ago. <laughs> uh, shit that haunts me to this day, dude. There's a fucking laundry list. I'm I'm pretty sure we've talked about shit that like keeps us up at night. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, every other podcast. Like you know those fucking those cringe interactions that you have with people. Like uh, that one time I was at a movie theater and and the the person who handed me my ticket says uh, enjoy the movie and I go yeah thanks you too. Yeah. <laughs> you know like like small cringe shit like that. What is the most devastating shit that I took? I think that's either the one where I was folding laundry and trusted a fart, or the one where I was at the bus stop that used to be down the street from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go so bad. And I started running back home, made it up the stairs, made it to the bathroom, and before I could get my pants down, just okay. And in, in terms of actual like number two stories, um, I was in high school and I had just left the house. I had just gotten off of uh, uh, like off the property and was about to turn uh the street. Uh, turn the corner to to get onto the main street and then all of a sudden a sudden urge to shit so I fucking ran home got home ran downstairs was right in front of the toilet about to pull my pants down j uh, just I couldn't hold it anymore and it just shit filled my pants and I'm like I'm not going to school I'm not, I'm not going to school anymore <laughs> I mean that's a fair reaction though I fucking I cleaned myself up went straight back into bed that is Entirely fair. It's awful. Jordan PM? I mean, PM. Medi? Uh. I don't really have any shits that, you know. Haunt you? Haunt me, yeah. Jordan, you had to have taken some rank shits. Um. There was a time, actually, this week, actually, where I was just running to the bathroom and I went to go sit down. But as I was turning around to sit down and feeling it, the door was still wide open. So I had to, in probably 0.5 seconds, close the door and then immediately sit down on the toilet mm -hmm. and then explode. Oh, whenever I eat Popeyes and I have sharp shits afterward. <sighs> I... And on that note, I think it's time for a boat fact. I think so, too. All right, lay it on me. It was a good one. Little over a week ago, the new largest cruise ship in the world finally took its maiden voyage from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, known as the Wonder of the Seas. I wonder where it's going. That's that's a press release, Jordan. <laughs> Where's it going? That that's uh, a press wonder. release, Jordan. I wonder. I wonder. 
You guys want a shark fact? Yes, please. Lay, give me a shark. Give me a good fact, please. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, that was that was a good <sighs> fact. There are more than 400 species of sharks that can move between salt and fresh water. Most okay. notably bull sharks who take in a lot of water and have an output 20 times greater than the average saltwater shark. What do you mean by output? Pee. Ah, okay. They pee a lot to move between rivers in the sea. Mm -hmm. Kidneys work in double time. Pissing all that sea water out. I don't know yeah, why I thought this, but I didn't think fish peed. Yeah, they got pectoral fins. Is that the one or is it penile? I think pectoral is the one on their back. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a muscle. I, I'm pretty sure we all have that. Shark fins. Yeah, we, Let's see. Pelvic pecs. fin. That's what I'm thinking of. Am I weird for thinking that fish didn't pee? Uh, no, you, you wouldn't think they would considering they live in water. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I mean if they... What would do you do fish, with the waste product? Do fish, have, do fish have cloacas? Do do fish drink? Do they need to drink? Do they feel thirst? Okay, so sharks got sharks got the big front dorsal fin, then they got a rear dorsal fin, then the big tail fin in the back is the caudal fin, then the little hand ones are pectoral, and then they've got a pelvic and anal fin. Imagine having a fin dedicated specifically to anal. <laughs> Sounds hot. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash dipships. Pod. Subscribe on Podbean. Subscribe on Podbean. Rate us five stars wherever you can listen. Five that stars, will let you. Um, like an Apple and Spotify, because that one lets you rate. Don't forget the podcast sink or swim based on word of mouth. So if you like this podcast, share it around with anyone that you like and think if would you enjoy know somebody it. that Show likes dark chocolate. Podcast. If, you like, this podcast. if you know somebody who likes anal, tell them about this podcast. Shit, I do. We could have just stayed with the dark chocolate bit. You didn't need to bring <laughs> anal into this. I got to get to the darker chocolate PM. Oh, no. And that's the end of the podcast. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Good night, we'll everybody. see you all in the nautical mile. Uh, toodles. Toodles.